Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, today's video is about a breakthrough discovery by UVA researchers and they have identified what they believe is a critical factor that was previously unknown to be involved in the HIV infection process, uh, which is basically successful transmission. They believe there is a protein uh, that the HIV virus makes that decides how uh, the, uh, the protein interacts with the RNA of the virus and the factor is called REVRRE. In this video, I will explain what REVRRE is and how it is important for HIV transmission and what its function in the HIV life cycle is. So uh, just to give you a simplistic um, uh, outline of what this is and what this is not. Here we are talking about a prevention strategy a strategy that would prevent a person from getting infected by HIV thanks to our understanding of REV-RRE. So that's the way you have to look at this uh, particular video. So with that said, I would like to get started. But before we proceed, I have an important announcement to make. Um, the Patreons will continue to get the HIV video as they get at this point of time. There will be no change to it. But all those who are watching the HIV um, uh, videos in this English channel out here uh, will uh, experience a change. Because um, over the end of the year, I have been thinking on how to make the experience good for all the viewers of this channel, uh, which includes a good uh, portion of uh, uh, genomics investors who are coming at HIV, uh, HBV, and diabetes, and other things from an investment point of view and our other viewers uh, who are coming to look at HIV uh, content out here from a patient's perspective, looking at how soon can we get uh, HIV treatment, how much it's going to cost. I agreed that most of these questions are common, but the approach of an investor is different and the approach of a patient is different. So uh, it will make it easier for me to focus on the right attributes for each of these videos. If I were to move our English HIV content to the existing HIV channel uh, for Hindi and rebrand it as uh, HIV, uh, ShareTrek HIV, which will have all uh, English as well as uh, Hindi uh, videos on HIV. Each English HIV video is currently being converted into Hindi. That will continue. But I am very hopeful that we are going to potentially be able to increase the language uh, in uh, 2024 because we are very fortunate that we have uh, Ivan, who is a uh, French translator, uh, who's helped us translate a lot of our blog posts in sharetrek.com into French. And I am discussing with him to see if he would have the bandwidth to help us either do subtitles for, uh, for our English videos in French. And in those cases, in every case, what will happen is anyone who is interested in HIV uh, videos as a patient, they just have to get to ShareTrek HIV and they, they can hope to find HIV programming in the language of their preference. That's what we are working towards. And I would still um, like to invite someone to help me translate to Spanish. That will be really good. So we now have um, uh, French. Uh, I'm look I also have a doctor in India who has volunteered for uh, Hindi translation, but she is quite busy. Uh, she's a practicing surgeon, so she's not able to get time. We have been exchanging emails for almost uh, two or three months now, and uh, nothing has come out of it yet. So I'm cautiously optimistic about it. But that said, Spanish is welcome. So let's get started with today's video on Rev R R E. Let's do that. <music> Welcome back, friends. As you have seen in all our videos on HIV so far, the strategy to defeat HIV is multifold due to, due to the insidious nature of the retrovirus, which embeds itself into the host DNA and manages to go dormant during art cycles and then bounces back and loads the blood with a lot of new viral particles once ART is stopped. So the first set of strategy was to find and kill the virus at its various life stages. So when it's building a capsid, try to uh, sabotage the capsid building. 
uh, when it's trying to uh, use the gag protein uh, to get into a CD4 T cell, come up with a broad uh, BNAV uh, to attach to the gag protein so that it cannot uh, get into uh, the CD4 T cell. Uh, and um, those kind of strategies, also picking up some anti antigens uh, from the HIV ca uh, capsid and uh, creating antibodies for it in an effort to slow down HIV and uh, damage it. So those are all the uh, set of strategies that we used in the first set. And uh, then we saw uh, in the process that uh, we had uh, transcriptions inhibitors, uh, which would prevent the reverse transcription of the HIV virus inside the cell. So we have done a whole lot of things based on the various uh, stages in the life cycle of the virus, trying to disrupt it. The next set, uh, set of strategies that we saw was the strategy of protecting the CD4 T cell by removing CCR5, which is what AJT 103-T is trying to do. We also saw the strategy of cutting off the GAG gene from the uh, host uh, DNA uh, from the HIV virus and thereby making it uh, ineffective in transmitting further. So that's another thing that we saw. We also saw short interrupting RNAs which are used by AGT-103 inside the uh, CD4 T cell, modified CD4 T cell to prevent any uh, reverse transcription. So those are all the methods that uh, we have tried so far. And uh, the REV RRE findings, in my opinion, will help come up with additional points in HIV replication that can be attacked as part of a uh, measure to prevent HIV spread. So it's more of a prophylactic, in my opinion, based on whatever I have understood by reading this article. So let's now investigate how REV RRE works. REV, which is capital R, small e, small v. It is basically regulator of virion. It's a protein. REV is a protein. You can call it REV protein. It's a regulatory protein produced by HIV itself. Its main job is to facilitate the transport of unspliced or partially spliced viral RNA from the cell nucleus to the cytoplasm. This is essential for the virus to replicate and produce new infectious particles. So what one could do is... Um, look at the gene that produces uh, a REV uh, protein and uh, that could be a potential target for any intervention uh, that could be done. And friends, you have to listen very carefully to how REV RRE works because it's like a reverse kind of a logic. Just in the share market, like buying and selling shares is one way of thinking. Uh, buying and selling options is a different way of thinking. You have to put uh, that in your mind and look at this uh, particular description very carefully. RRE, Rev response element. This is a specific sequence in the viral RNA that Rev binds to. And the interaction between Rev and RRE is pivotal for the transport of viral RNA out of the nucleus. Without this interaction, the virus cannot efficiently replicate or produce new virus particles. So the Rev RRE system is unique to HIV that you have to remember. And uh, it could be there in some related uh, retroviruses, but it's uh, so far very unique to HIV. It's a specialized mechanism uh, developed by these viruses to ensure the efficient transport of their RNA from the cell nucleus to the cytoplasm, which is a crucial step in the viral life cycle. In retroviruses like HIV, the viral RNA is initially transcribed in the cell nucleus, but needs to be transported to the cytoplasm for further processing and translation into viral proteins. The REV protein, along with its interaction with the REV response element or RRE in the viral RNA, facilitates this transport. This system is not found in other types of viruses. Different viruses have distinct mechanisms for viral RNA transport and replication often tailored to the specific characteristics of the virus. Inhibiting the REV-RRE interaction uh, would boost its ability uh, to uh, transmit further. And I want to take you to the uh, uh, paper that I read this from, uh, the research article, uh, so that you can get an idea of how they made this discovery. So let's go to the paper first. Here we are in the research paper, and you will see this highlighted area 
where it says the UVA team looked at Rev RRE activity in viruses during vaginal HIV transmission and found that the viruses that established the new infections tended to show low Rev RRE activity. That suggests that naturally occurring variations in Rev RRE activity may determine which viruses start a new infection. It also may allow the virus to adapt to different fitness landscapes which could play the, uh, a key role in how HIV takes hold inside a new person. So we are talking about an infection here. Now this entire research was triggered uh, by the fact uh, that um, researchers were trying to understand uh, how uh, an individual with HIV might be developing various variants within their body but only one variant manages to infect uh, another patient. Uh, so that was the objective of the research. What is the bottleneck out there which prevents other variants? What is it that determines that a particular variant will be the one that will infect a new patient, considering that the HIV patient has got a whole lot of HIV variants in their body? And that research led to the discovery of the role of Rev RRE. So it is found that uh, the ones... Uh, that uh, the the particular variant of HIV that actually causes a new infection is the one that shows low Rev RRE activity. And uh, with that knowledge, I think scientists will be able to come up with uh, new targets uh, or new strategies for uh, boosting uh, our protection against HIV. Developing uh, boosting agents to enhance the Rev RRE interaction such as, uh, for example, designing components uh, or compounds or interventions uh, that increase the efficiency of the process would be one such measure. So there could be research that is uh, put into effect to find what kind of small molecules or what kind of proteins can enhance the Rev RRE uh, interaction. Because if the Rev RRE interaction is boosted, then those HIV virus won't be able to infect a new patient. And that's the working hypothesis out here based on what we study, what, what we found from the study. And designing such components, especially with uh, AI, is going to be much easier because recently I, uh, I saw an article which spoke about how Microsoft AI was able to come up with a lithium substitute for uh, storage batteries. Ideally, it would have taken many, many uh, decades to find that out, but the AI was able to do it very, very quickly. So now we have a new uh, alternative for lithium. So similarly, uh, if the structure of uh, REV and RRE is already available, which I suspect it is, then AI would be able to come up with a compound, which could be a small molecule, it could be an antibody or anything, uh, that can boost Rev RRE and make sure that every copy of HIV virus displays high Rev RRE activity uh, and then that can prevent new infections. Now, I'm just thinking as a lay person, right? When I hear that it says that only those uh, copies of virus which have low uh, Rev RRE are the ones that are able to infect a new patient, I'm thinking let us just suppress it. But I'm not looking at the ripple effects. If boosting Rev RRE is going to prevent a new infection, what does that do? to the patient themselves who have got this uh, uh, virus? Uh, does it uh, make it very easy for the virus to now replicate and their viral load goes up? I don't know. Well, I'm just spitballing it out here and giving you ideas of you know, potentially what are the various ways in which one could exploit this uh, new discovery. So uh, I'm thinking that this will um, uh, enable uh, finding new avenues for prophylactic uh, products uh, that can help prevent new HIV inf uh, infections. And friends, the way I'm looking at it uh, is that uh, if we have ART going on, we have already seen effects in countries like India and other places where ART is being given on a regular basis free of cost to HIV patients, that new infections have decreased. The new infections have not decreased because of change in behavior. In my opinion, the new um, uh, cases have decreased because ART is uh, probably succeeding in taking the viral load so low that uh, new transmissions are less likely. Now that said, if on top of that, if we had a prophylaxis like a gel or something uh, which can be locally applied so that uh, HIV uh, viruses which are in that gel environment uh, experience a very high level of uh, Rev RRE uh, activity, 
in that case all those viruses will be incapable of infecting the uh, new patient so that's that's the way i am thinking uh, i don't know if this is going to come true but uh, also another reason why i make these videos for you friends is that this is not a treatment this is just fundamental research which has found information which will become the basis on which new therapies will be developed and clinical trials will happen so this is very ahead of uh, the entire chain of creating a drug but the reason i bring this to you is that i think every one of you is eagerly waiting for the day when i can announce or the news media can announce that a new cure has been found for hiv but till then i want to make sure that you understand what is happening in the background in the research a lot of researchers are trying different ap approaches they're putting hiv literally under a microscope and trying to find out how to handle this insidious enemy and uh, every uh, new revelation that we have about how hiv works uh, gives us new avenues for creating prophylaxis or for creating uh, art or for creating cures so uh, that's the spirit in which i'm bringing this to you and uh, for some of you who may ask when is this treatment coming what will it cost <laughs> i would just like to point out that this is just fundamental research right now there is no therapy in place this is the beginning point so how soon can a research start on this i don't know it will all depend on the motivation the visibility of this uh, press article or research article in the community and uh, new researchers who have got the money and the sponsors to get started with uh, researching on a prophylaxis using this uh, discovery that's what i'm thinking so friends i hope you liked this video and if you did uh, i would say that uh, you should not hesitate to press the like button because it helps the uh, channel with the youtube algorithm and you will also find a patreon link in the description through which you can support our efforts for hiv content and please do not forget i'm working on moving uh, our hiv contents from this channel into the hiv global channel i'll put the links in the next uh, video when i make the formal announcement uh, so that you can go there and become a, a subscriber and continue watching the same quality of video as you have right now and that channel will be purely for hiv so you can feel free to ask hiv questions anytime and i'll take care of that and this channel will then continue to remain a genomic investment channel thanks for your support so far and looking forward to your future support as well bye for now